First of all, I would like to uh, introduce Mr. Nadim Gantus, uh, country manager of Arab Bank, in today's interview. Welcome. Um, how do you assess performance of Arab Bank in Lebanon, and how are you going to compete with other players on the market, since there are many mar many banks on the market? The competition is very intense. So how do you intend to do this? Well, Arab Bank position in Lebanon is a bit different than the rest of the banks, since we are a branch of a foreign entity. We're a Jordanian bank initially. However, Arab Bank in Lebanon is the oldest bank in the country, or one of the oldest. We started in 1944, 20 years before the country central bank. There was not even a central bank when Arab Bank had opened. And the first branch was not far away from where we are today. Um, today it has, and since then till today, it has a, a pristine name that reflects strength and integrity. And this is, if you want, the main um, that what comes across, uh, this is what comes across when you hear the name of Arab Bank. For the past few years, Arab Bank Lebanon was going through a different strategy. Since the beginning, uh, since the end of last year, we have changed uh, our um, uh, objectives and we have started implementing a new strategy. We want to be closer to our clients. We want to give them access to our global network that we uh, that covers the five continents and the 30 countries we're in. And we are offering very competitive pricing. This is something we're able to compete with with the Lebanese banks due to our lower cost of funds compared to the Lebanese banks who are highly invested in uh, Lebanese government bonds and are paying high rates on their deposits. We don't pay high, deposit, high rates on our deposits, however, um, because of our reputation of honoring our uh, uh, obligations to our customers and the strength of the bank throughout all these years. Mm -hmm. So the deposit do not mind the lower interest rate on their funds as long as they have the peace of mind knowing where their funds are in a, in a bank like Arab Bank. Uh, how would you characterize group strategy over the next four years and has the global economic downturn had any effect on it? Well, Arab Bank was established with the vision of serving the Arab world economies, not only in one country. The founder wanted to cover the whole Arab region, the societies, the communities in each country. And this has always been the policy of the bank and will always continue to be. Uh, Regardless of the political instability or the situation of, the, of, the, of each country, by, start, by having this vision from the beginning, the founders of the bank knew that they were getting into difficult region. It's not, uh, we're not in, in the Western world where it's been stable for many years. Taking that into account, the bank from the beginning had a very conservative approach to to the um, businesses where they were uh, thriving, if you want, or the societies they start to work with. And this has, has been embedded in the culture of the bank and being very conservative, careful, and has today proven to be the right approach because it's also saved the bank from the ripples of the financial crisis that the whole world was affected. Uh, like I mentioned before, I mean, everybody got affected by the financial crisis. You, me, everyone living on this earth, but with different uh, force, if you want. Arab Bank went through it very successfully, and uh, we will continue applying the same conservative approach that has proven the, uh, the founder's philosophy right from the beginning. Part of this conservative approach, the bank has always made a point to maintain high liquidity, strong capital adequacy ratios, and a, a prudent credit and risk policies. This is, if you want, summed up by a conservative approach.